Greetings, Miss Daniels here. This is uh, 100 seconds to bread dough. A little salt, a little dry yeast. <clears throat> this time I'm going to spice it up a little bit because I can. So I'm going to put in some chili flakes. I'm going to put in some oregano, although I don't know how well the oregano is going to survive cooking. <clears throat> Generally, spices go in, herbs and spices go in at the end of a cooking process if you want them to have any flavor. I'm going to put in some uh, roasted pumpkin seeds, which I really like, <clears throat> and a little bit of flour. I'll just make a small batch today. All right, <clears throat> there it is. I'm gonna add some water. Stir, stir, stir. One of the nice things to consider is buying a high, high bowl so you don't uh, splash flour or whatnot around. <clears throat> a clean kitchen is a good kitchen and. If you've got the right equipment, a simple deep bowl is a great thing for making bread. And this is a little wet, so I'm going to add a little more flour. Again, making bread dough is super simple and very forgiving. <clears throat> Easy to fix mistakes, if there are any mistakes. Pretty good. I like it. There's my bread dough. Scrape off the sides. All right. <clears throat> That's it. I'll put a lid, or rather, I'll use a Hot lid. That should work. Just to keep it the dirt, the dirt and flies and miscellaneous stuff that happens in a kitchen off of my bread dough. That's it. One bowl, one knife to clean after it's all done. Flour, water, yeast, salt. You can probably even get away without salt. Flour, water, yeast. That's all you need to make bread dough. Everything else is just frills. Okay, thanks for watching and happy baking!